You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about Jamel Hill. Yes, the failed sports uh, journalist. She now has a new home. Now, as you guys know, ESPN fired her and she's kind of been irrelevant for the most part, unless it comes to race baiting. This woman is awful at her job and now she's going to another failing company. Guys, check this out over here on OutKick. Bobby Burrack, Jamel Hill signs with CNN streaming service. Now, the streaming service is CNN Plus, and I don't know anybody that is actually going to sign up for this service, folks, because if you just look at the the regular CNN ratings, their shows are failing massively. And I'm talking about bit time, folks. So how do they expect people to actually pay for their streaming service? I have no idea. But that is the new home for Jamel Hill to race bait and call people racist, especially people that vote for Donald Trump. And guys, by the way, in case you didn't know, her own mother voted for Donald Trump. I found that to be very, very hilarious, folks. But let's read this here from Bobby Burrack. Jamel Hill and her unpleasant sidekick, Carrie Champion, have agreed to a deal with CNN to host an upcoming program on CNN+. Plus. CNN announced the move on Thursday, claiming that Hill and Champion show will focus on, quote, the biggest stories in sports, entertainment, politics and culture, close quote. So they're basically going to be out there calling everybody racist in sports. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't know exactly when they're actually going to debut. But like I said before, guys, I don't think anybody's going to be signing up for the service to tell you the truth. So we really won't know what they're talking about, you know, unless there's some news article out there then we'll probably be able to cover that. But I'm not signing up for CNN Plus. No way. Jamel Hill and Kerry Champion, two of the biggest race baiters out there, especially uh, Jamel Hill. They're going to be out there calling um, NFL owners uh, racist, NBA owners racist, your racist, this and everything like that. But uh, check out uh, Joe Concha's tweet here. Jamel Hill, who called Trump a white supremacist and said, uh, quote, the country simply loves white supremacy following the 2021 GOP wins in Virginia that included the election of the first black woman, Winston Sears, as lieutenant governor, has been hired by CNN Plus. And boy, you know, these uh, crazy far leftist Marxists like uh, Jamel Hill, they didn't like what happened in Virginia. Virginia turned back to red and their lieutenant governor is black. But to Jamel Hill, you know, it's just white supremacy. It goes on. In other words, Hill and Champion will call other people racist and call themselves victims. Pretty much what I said. Of course they will. That's what Hill and Champion do. For those unfamiliar with Champion, she's not as openly racist as Hill, but is every uh, bit as vile. At ESPN, Champion had a reputation for treating producers poorly. Champion anchored first take with Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith from 2012 to 2015 before an unsuccessful transition to Sports Center. Well, I remember Jamel Hill over there at Sports Center at six. It failed massively. Massively. Nobody was tuning in. That was especially, you know, during the Walt Center days when uh her and uh, Michael Smith, she was just going there and just bash people. You racist this, you racist that, that kind of thing. Uh, Hill and Champion previously hosted Carrie and Jamel won't stick to sports on Vice TV, a program that failed to rank on cable ratings charts. So they failed there, too, man. Says here, luckily, CNN plus ratings won't be public, meaning we won't know how many people tune in to watch this filth. Hundreds, possibly, but we'll never know for sure. CNN likes to claim that it doesn't have a political uh, ban like competitors, Fox News and MSNBC. That is a lie. We know that CNN is definitely on the left. No doubt about it. Uh, however, in addition to Hill and Champion, the network has recently signed um, conspiratorial uh, leftist uh, Rex Chapman, Chapman 
and it airs far left commentary for hours on a nightly basis. CNN even made Rachel Maddow, the industry's most prominent liber- liberal pundit, a $20 million offer in 2021. At this point, CNN uh, can now no longer claim to be anything more than an MSNBC wannabe. So, guys, what do you think it is? Jamel Hill going over there to talk woke sports. And she's not even on the main CNN channel. She's on the streaming service, folks. She's pretty much, you know, going to go MIA. Maybe they'll actually have her on the the main channel that uh, people don't have to pay for. But we'll have to see. But I highly doubt it. Uh, She did even tweet out because um, you can see here CNN plus uh, tweets out. Award winning uh, broadcast journalist uh, Jamel Hill and Carrie Champion are coming to CNN plus and they're telling it like it is. Yes, you're all racist. Stream uh, Carrie and Jamel speak easy this spring. And Jamel Hill tweeted out one thing about me. I'm going to keep a TV show with one of my closest friends. Yes, you guys get to race bait together, guys. Calling everybody racist and especially, you know, when it comes to the world of sports. Guys, how long will they actually be on CNN Plus? I have no idea. Something's telling me that it won't be very long before CNN has to drop her because and uh, carry champion because nobody's going to really be signing up for CNN Plus. They don't. The free CNN ratings are in decline. They are tanking massively. Massively. So I don't know how to expect people to actually sign up to that and tune in to Jamel Hill and Carrie Champion. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, Walt Sports will live on at CNN Plus. Anyway, guys, let us know think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.